I've gone and got myself a new car. This car I've always, always wanted my whole life. I'm back, and as you've seen from the title, I've gone and got myself a new car. I thought, you know what, New Year, might as well spice stuff a bit, change it up a little bit. Is the golf still here? Don't worry about the, the golf still happening, that bill's still going on. But I've got this as well now. And as you've seen, I uh, cast my hand. So there's been no like videos and stuff because I can't work in the car. I've gone and picked this up. And you know what? Before I start talking too much, let's get straight into it. I've gone and got myself a new car. Patrol members be advised. A street racer has just been reported. Suspect driving a silver BMW. All right, so here is my brand new E46 3 Series. It's a 325CI Sport and this thing is sick. All right, so let's get straight into the specs then. It's a 325CI Sport. Uh, that means the two and a half litre inline six it has the M54 engine, the M54B25, I think it is. And it's got 190 horsepower, 245 newton meters of torque, zero to 60, I can't remember, but we'll do one. We have to do, we'll just do an 60 ourselves. Um, I sound like I'm out of car well. Interior looks so nice. It's a nice grey on black interior. For a 2005 car, this car is so, so advanced. You don't understand. This car is actually like crazy, crazy advanced for what it is. I just love it. I don't, I don't know what else I'm going to tell you really. It's just, it's a new car. It's going to be sick. We're doing a lot to it. Parts have already been ordered. They should be coming soon. Oh, I'll show you guys what needs repairing on it as well because there are a few bits and bobs here and there. All right, so the car has a few issues. Nothing too major, but it has got a couple of issues here and there. I'll show you guys now. Okay, so now you guys know it's an old BMW. Is it going to have issues? Even the new ones just break down constantly. So there are a few things. Nothing too major though. So, uh, you know, let's get started on the outside. All right, so the first issue is this. BMW badge. One is just worn out, and two, it needs a, it needs a blue one. That doesn't look right. Yeah. And then down here as well, you can see I've got a stupid M badge. I don't know who the hell decided to put this on, but we need to get rid of that, obviously. So we have got bits of rust on the car. Nothing too crazy. It is just surface rust. So it just needs a sand down and a spray. But we have got little bits of rust in here. But to be fair, for an E46, it's actually quite quite good on rust. It's actually very good on rust. To be fair, for an E46. And then coming over to the back. I open the boot. Yeah, as you can tell, that's a new battery. The car's still playing up though. So the past however long I've had it for, this thing, oh, it just like, you can see it's disconnected right now. Yeah, this is just causing the alarm to go off. Like something with the car is causing the alarm to go off. So every time I lock the car, I have to take the battery off and then go inside. Otherwise, it just goes off forever. <laughs> On top of that, I needed need a new battery because I just didn't want to start either. Just one of the days I just didn't want to start. So yeah, and I've got all this stuff here because I was doing my uh, spark plugs the other day. I'll throw in a clip for you guys, you guys can see that. But I'll do a full video on that as well. We've also got a broken bonnet, bonnet strut. I'm just using a wooden stick just right now to hold it. But I just placed that in, otherwise it just slams on top of me. I learned the hard way, it dropped on me once. So yeah. But other than that, there's not too, nothing major basically. It's all like a couple weeks worth of jobs and we're all good. As every BMW has, this is just a BMW thing. I've got an engine light. <laughs> I've got an engine light. I have an oil pressure light that comes on sometimes, or oil level. That's just a sensor. I've got whatever that sound is. I've got a coolant leak in the engine bay. That's from my coolant bottle, the coolant reservoir that coolant leak is from. So yeah, the engine light isn't anything major. It's a small one, that's simple. And the oil light, again, that's a simple one. It doesn't come on all the time. It comes on when it wants to. So there, that's, that's nothing major. Uh, the coolant issue, again, nothing too crazy. It's all gooder than that. All right, so that's all the exterior problems. Nothing too crazy, obviously, you guys saw. The exterior ones are kind of like just little bits and bobs you do into the car. Just a bit of like um, cleaning up to it kind of thing. Just got to clean it up a little bit. So now, interior-wise, interior is actually quite clean, as you saw in like, the cinematic. The interior is quite good. There's not many issues with it anywhere. There's not many major things you need doing. Like, there's no ripped seats. There's no bad, like, leathers and stuff. It's just little bits here and there. So... I'll go through them now. Okay, as you come into the interior, you can see here on the steering wheel, it is a bit worn. It's not too, too bad for 2005, but yeah, I'm probably gonna get this retrimmed eventually. 
you can see over here this armrest is not actually dirty i've actually cleaned it all i've given the whole car full clean and that's just the leather the leather the leather itself is bad here so uh yeah i need to change the armrest gear stick is looking like someone just nibbled at it or something weird like that man. i don't know someone's been biting this gear stick what the hell's going on there so yeah that needs sorting as well and then on top of that i've got this thing here obviously it's not yeah you can see how broken that is but um i, I don't even know what it's for i'm going to probably change this to a cup holder just because like there isn't any otherwise so i'm changing this, this bit to a cup holder probably i don't know if i can keep that or not if it's a cup holder i have to get the little small coin thing if it's in there but yeah nanny sorting armrest again has got a bit of battle scars down there for some reason other than that though for the interior the interior is actually quite clean there's not really much that's bad with it like if you look around that's all pretty good even at the back the back's pretty good as well it's not much so yeah so yeah, that's the, uh, the interior. As you guys saw, that was actually quite clean. Like, there's not much, there's no big things doing to it. No like crazy stuff that's broken or anything. It's literally just minor little small repairs. It's more like maintenance kind of thing. This car will be up and running in a couple of weeks. Like it could be fully perfect a couple of weeks. That's probably the plan. So yeah, nothing crazy. And all the buttons and so on, they all work. Everything works how it should in the car. It's just them little few bits and bobs that you guys saw. So uh, yeah, this should be ready not too long i'd say it won't take too long yeah and uh the golf should be ready as well that's nearly done what the issue is right now with the golf is it's over over fueling like crazy and i don't know why well i didn't know why for such a long time and um i was having like crazy issues with it where it's just drinking fuel like i go through half a tank in about three days roughly and i'll be driving the car about maybe once in three days it'll lose lose fuel while sitting there but there's no external fuel leak that's the confusing part there's no fuel coming outside the car it's all internal so i had to narrow it down i've done the lambda sensor seeing what i thought maybe that's why it's causing the afr to be off i've done this and that wherever i did a few things now i'm pretty sure it's the injector so i've ordered one i'm going to see if that fixes it if that's the fix i'll change the rest but yeah they're on the way i've ordered them they're on the way and then uh after that the parts i've literally got the parts laid out with all the screws everything ready I'm just, I just need to fix this issue because I don't want to push the car on bad fueling and then blow it up, if you get what I mean. That's what many people do and mess up the cars. I don't want to ruin this car. On top of that, whoever buys the car after me, I don't want them to have issues with it. So I'm sorting that out. That should be ready. As soon as that fueling issue is sorted, build sorted, build's going carrying forward then. The build's going to carry on. But the build can only carry on once that's sorted. But the, the actual build part, the turbo, all that intercooler, because I'm used to working on bad cars, I can probably sort that out in about a weekend. I can probably bang out the whole thing in a weekend. So don't worry about that. I'm just sorting out the, the issue is the hard part because I'm not 100% sure what it is. And no one knows what it is. I've asked loads of people. I've checked garages. No one can seem to work this out. So I'm just going to thought I can work out. So uh, yeah, don't worry too much. I know everyone's saying the Golf this and that. I've had this issue for like six months. That's the thing. I've had it for this long. I haven't been pushing the car or anything. Like, yeah, it's a really, really, and it's a, it's an unlucky one. It's come at the wrong time as well. So the Golf, don't worry, that should be done soon. As soon as that, them injectors come and put them in, if that sorts it out, the build will be done like that. Literally, I can put stuff in instantly. The stuff's quick on that, so don't worry about that. But yeah, let's get back to the BMW then. I would have given you guys a few driving clips, a few revving clips and so on, maybe even like a little drifting clip. But the thing is, this thing doesn't want to drive. It just, it's had a few issues and it's dead right now. So I'm gonna sort that out, get it driving, and then we'll get a few clips. But yeah, this car, uh, this it's a car I've wanted my whole life. I've wanted this thing since the days of Need for Speed Most Wanted, since them kind of days, you guys know. I've always wanted a 3 Series, an E46 that is. I've always wanted an E46. And you know what, I'm just grateful for it, man. It's just crazy. To be in this position to have this car and the Golf is just, yeah, man. But yeah, we've got a lot more to come. We've got a lot of mods to come. We've got exhaust to do, intakes to do everything this car we're doing quite a lot too and it's just yeah we're going to be doing a lot to it but yeah, i'm always going to do a first drive for you guys in this car as i was not adding to driving clips and so on but it decided to die <laughs> so i need to get that i need to sort that out i think it's the alternator because i changed the battery already so i need to sort that out oh yeah and if you guys haven't subscribed already if you want to see more content on the e46 more stage 3 golf stuff maybe other cars coming soon i'm not going to say too much but maybe but uh yeah but if you want to see other cars and so on Remember to subscribe and we'll have some crazy stuff happening soon. I always got to say Alhamdulillah. And uh, yeah, man. But yeah, remember to like, comment down below and subscribe for more BMW stuff. More, probably just repairs on this as it's a BMW, you guys know. But um, 
yeah like comment down below and subscribe thanks for watching